Well, hello, people. Um, my name is Jean-Baptiste Morin, also known as Grim on YouTube and Facebook. I recently posted on the Facebook group of Buddies a portrait of one of uh, Sons of Anarchy characters, Chips, played by Tommy Flanagan, which is my uh, favorite character on the show. Uh, so as the series ended, I thought I'd do a quick portrait of him, and people seem to like it. I was asked to do a video of my drawing process, but sadly I didn't record uh, these portraits, so I did a new one. This time I drew Jax, the, the main character, and someone was the hero, the anti-hero, as you want to see him. Sorry, I'm a bit sick today. I'll do my best. Um, well, I'm drawing on a Cintiq 22HD uh, by Wacom. Uh, I'm using Photoshop CC, the Creative Suite 2014, the latest version. Uh, oh, for this portrait, for a specific portrait, uh, for the, uh, the portrait of Tommy Flanagan. I used uh, a single brush, a single charcoal brush. Uh, I took uh, from Darkin, from Mike Lim, which is one of my favorite artists uh, out there. And I tried to do that without touching the opacity. Um, the opacity is set at 100%. And flow at 47. This is uh, the brush I got when I downloaded his um, brush set, and I didn't modify the brush. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, it blends easily, even though at 100%. So, yeah, I try to keep it painterly and not to focus on the values and not on the blending. I try to keep something a bit painterly. Uh, well, I started by creating a layer, um, a new canvas, you know, a, a new canvas. I applied a grey background, a uh, fillet with grey, then I duplicated the, the layer, and I started drawing on it. Uh, before this one, I used to try uh, and build the the whole face uh, to do the whole line art, but I found out that uh, it wasn't harder for me, and um, I decided to try and begin with the eyes, and then build the nose, and then the descent to the mouth, go down to the mouth and build the rest of the face around uh, the you know around this center mass around the boat or the eyes around the nose and the mouth I try to do the chin uh, I concentrate I try to detail the eyes uh, well maybe too much uh, Keep in mind that you will see me doing, uh, making mistakes, making lots and lots of mistakes because I'm not a professional artist. Uh, I'm doing this for well, for my own entertainment and for I hope your entertainment. So you're going to see me many, many, many times trying to fix uh, anatomical. Issues like uh, the place of the eyes, the place of the nose, uh, of the, of his uh, left ear. Um, I had a hard time f trying to figure out uh, how to do it exactly to look like him. So the drawing is gonna look like at a crap for a good while, for a good 30 minutes on my. Or more, even more on the original thing. Uh, keep in mind, it took me about one hour and 
15 minutes. I sped up uh, the video at uh, about three times, so it at 300%. I'd like to draw that fast, but I can't. So here you can see I did the. Um, I drew his, his left ear a bit too far from his face, and I'm struggling in my head, like, oh gosh, oh gosh, he's too far. I did, I did a mistake. I made a mistake here, and uh, I try to correct it my in my mind to s to figure out how to do to if really it was really too far or not. Um, yeah, my uh, iTunes radio. Uh, I'm trying to block the values. Uh, my original default is to, um, uh, if I can call that uh, a default, is I try to I used to try and detail uh, my drawing too much. You know, I try to go already in uh, making all the details of the skin of the nose. If I draw a whole character, you know, a plain fit character, I try to. Um, Tended to draw uh, the face in detail and so on, but not to the, the whole character. So sometimes I had uh, some anatomical monsters. Oh, yeah, here you're gonna see me struggling a lot with the right side of his chin and his cheek. Uh, I did it too wide. I drew it too wide at the beginning here, I'm trying to fix the ear. Um, I'm aware that the eyes are a bit odd on my drawing, you know, they are not exactly in line here. I try to fix it later, I hope uh, I fix it enough. But for the moment I'm really trying to, to block the, uh, the values, the black and white values and the greys. Um, See here is better. Um, well, uh, I try to work on a contrast. So I'm trying to find my word because well, it's the first video I'm doing with uh, with a voiceover, so it's a bit hard for me to find something you know useful to say. As I'm not a professional, I making mistakes. I'm learning a lot doing this. Uh, there are mistakes I did with uh, Cheers portrait. I didn't do on this one. Um, well, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I didn't paint uh, Jacks. Uh, this is Jackson Teller. Thomas Jacks in the show, for those who don't know, uh, the main character, and um, yeah, I'll try to paint chips uh, first because he is, in my opinion, easier to paint, easier to draw. He has uh, facial char characteristics, facial features uh, that are more obvious than on Jacks, it's his face. You know, here it looks like crap, it doesn't look anything like him, except it may be the eyes. Uh, so I was a bit disappointed at the beginning. <laughs> I was wondering if I should keep on recording or not. <laughs> but here I did ring on Tommy Flygan first, because he was, in my opinion, easier to paint, easier to draw. Uh, and well, he's my favorite character on the show because he's the you know he's a silent guy. He doesn't talk much, and uh, he is uh, quite dark character. Uh, I try to uh, render here. I try to give impression of what Jax is in the show: a tormented soul, a tortured soul. Uh, someone who did uh, well, lots and lots of bad things, and 
I try to reflect in his eyes someone who has to face tough decisions, tough, de tough decisions. Well, I did it uh, every day. Who has to do bad things to stay alive? You know. I try to uh, give this impression in his eyes, and I think at the end I managed to give that impression. So here is beginning to look bit more like him as I drew the cheek and his right chin uh, uh, in the right proportions I guess but now I, had to, I will have to fix the left chin which is to what I'm, what I'm bringing at the moment uh, which is too wide a bit too big for the rest of the face <laughs> um, excuse me I'm sick as a horse um, I'm trying to block a bit of the hair uh, to give uh, limits to the face to keep the proportions right and uh, to do a bit of a beard. Now, maybe I drew the nose um, a bit too long. I just so that and I think I drew the nose a bit too long well that's not dramatic <laughs> because people still can recognize that it's Jacks just by his beard, his eyes and uh, his haircut and well <laughs> I had a lot of struggle I'm not a great portrait artist um, I've been doing a couple portraits this last weeks and I'm still struggling a lot uh, uh, doing faithful portraits uh, I was asked also why do I uh, paint that many portraits in the last day so why I painted so many portraits because my 8th eight, eight or ninth portrait in a week uh, it's because uh, since I'm a kid, uh, I struggled doing this, and I really didn't have time uh, getting better at it. Even if my grandfather and my mom are awesome portrait artists, uh, I wasn't, and I'm still not. <laughs> I'm practicing a lot, but I'm still not a great portrait artist. Um, well. As a photographer, I like to uh, photograph people. I like to render emotions, and I felt I felt frustrated uh, not being able to to paint people, to draw people, and uh, show their emotions. The way I can do that uh, with my photography. So. so yeah, I said, well, I have a bit of time. <laughs> yeah, I have some time. It's hard to find time these days. Um, and I thought, yeah, why not make uh, a couple of portraits? I started with uh, Swiss Tigers portraits, as I'm a fan of their photographies. No shame about that. As long as they stay classy, as long as they're uh, charming, not obscene, uh, and I have to, and I'm an SG photographer myself. Uh, I have a friend who's an SG. She's an SG. Uh, so and I like drawing uh, pretty girls. That's the that's the fact. I have no problem with that did with it. Uh, so I might see uh, pretty girls on my channel uh, pretty soon I guess. And I thought yeah uh, I'm gonna try to make them look as pretty as I can. You know because with photography is well it can be hard to make uh, a girl look pretty but it's still in my mind easier than uh, 
on the pa on paper. So I did a couple of things. I'm gonna find that I'm gonna find them on my Facebook page and on my DeviantArt. Maybe I'll put a link on the description. And I thought, yeah, I have a couple of them. Well, I guess three or four, and people seem to like it. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try to get better at portraits because I'm already enjoying it. And as I watched the last season of Sons of Anarchy, I was very sad that it ended. Uh, I can I confess, no problem. Uh, I thought, yeah, why not uh, go on with the pleasure of a show and um, not leaving anything about the show and try to draw characters. So I started with chips, and now uh, I st I'm doing jacks. Um, sorry, I'm really sick today. A bit of cold. I hope I'm. Uh, you will understand me enough. Uh, so here you can see it's beginning to look a bit more like him. I, maybe I did the f uh, his. Uh, Head a bit too long. If the hair was too high uh, above his forehead, so later I'll be putting it down by creating a new layer with uh, Control Alt Shift and E, and I'll be able to modify the whole drawing and put the whole mess down. <laughs> but for the moment, it's like that. Sorry. Uh, it's easier for me to paint uh, characters I know because I have been watching the whole show, the whole series, and I know how the characters look like. So even with a, a, a photograph like that, a photo or picture of character, I know uh, how I don't always have to look at my photograph because I know what he looks like uh, when he does that kind of face. So yeah, it's easier for me. It's much more. It's much easier. Um, what can I say? Yeah, I'm trying to fix the air, fix the hair. Uh, to fix the eye because it was a bit too high, and I did that. I think, yeah, cancelling the whole thing because it was too much. Uh, no, this was crap, so <laughs> I deleted it immediately. <laughs> Later, I'll be fixing the eye simply by repainting it a bit higher. Uh, so, here I'm, you can see I'm fixing the eye. I'm, I've been doing this. Uh, all this with the same brush. Uh, I have no. Uh, I didn't use any of a brush during this session. So what can I? S what else can I say? Um, Hesitate. <laughs> I'm trying to fix this eye, and I realize no, 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 it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Not good at all. And I just simply <laughs> cancel everything I did. So now I'm going on to the ear, to the hair. Uh, yeah, I painted it uh, a bit leaned to the left because, well, it was like the portrait was. And then at the end, I put it straight up. I just put it straight up, you know. Here I'm trying to fix some values, the nose, because the nose was uh, a bit twisted. Um, here on the nostrils, I had, it, I had it many issues with the nostrils because uh, I drew them 
too narrow at the beginning. But now it's getting a bit better. Uh, still gonna work on it. Uh, well, the values on its face were a bit hard to block at the beginning uh, because we are uh, not as um, as deep, you know, as they are on Chip's face. <laughs> so I had to make him look like a young man, I guess, in his mid thirties. So I had to keep a well, a f soft, relatively soft face with a couple of marks on his forehead. And a uh, year. I'm gonna fix an Australia which is too uh, too large for him, too long. So here I'm on the nose. You know, we can see he had uh, well many issues with the nose, which is in my mine a bit too long uh, here I'm trying to fix his eyebrows which were a bit too dark for his blonde hair well I'm blonde myself and I have dark eyebrows because my dad has brown hair you know. uh, I'm trying to to fix that because we are really too too big first and too dark. Oh, sorry, guys, didn't sleep much last night uh, because of a cold. Um, so he's leaning too much. So here I'm putting it straight up. Uh, I'm gonna work on his eye uh, soon. Here I'm trying to fix the light on his beard. Uh, I try to keep a beard simple, a bit like they were. Uh, Many many hairs, you know, like on the photograph, but I have to work a lot uh, on painting beards because it's hard. <laughs> you are uh, screwing things up, you know, by painting things too too bright. Uh, well, the hair is gonna be a problem soon. <laughs> Because I have to put all the values to put the sun and the fact that he has very thin hair. <laughs> ah, really sorry about that. Really, um, really sick today. Um, so here, trying to face all that kind of stuff. I tried to apply a bit of texture on his face, like on because they are uh, the shaved beard, actually, uh, on his cheeks, above the beard, and I tried to render it in the, the shaved skin and the texture on it. Uh, here I'm working on the eyebrows again because we are still too dark and a bit too high they don't make him look um, well, well the way I wanted to the way I wanted him to look uh, I'm putting a bit of white in his eyes because well when you're putting the white touch in the eyes of a portrait it makes the person look more alive. <laughs> you know, a little glance in the eyes that makes uh, people look alive. So here, on the air again, uh, as I'm not a professional, I don't have a well. I'm not organ really organized in my workflow. Uh, I'm working. I'm trying to work on the same area for a while, and then if I see that something's not good uh, with another area, 
I'm gonna try to fix that immediately. Uh, I jump from one area to another. Uh, I doing that on well, pretty much every drawing I do. Um, just because if something doesn't look right at a place and I keep on drawing on another place, well, it's not gonna look right on both places at the end, both places at the end, so I'm trying to fix uh, the other one first. I'm trying to do some texture, based on the folds in his skin, it's frowning. Uh, the eyes are very important, I'm focusing a lot on the eyes because it's the first spot that people are gonna look at the eyes like you do on a person in real life. So um, I'm focusing a lot on the eyes. <laughs> well, actually that's what I do when I meet people in real life and try to focus on their eyes because um, well it's a central part of face and uh, it's what you're gonna look like to be polite first when you spoke when you speak to someone. And because when I uh, meet people, I'm really not staring at them, but I want to make them uh, know that I'm taking care about what they're saying, about what they're feeling, and the eyes are very important to know what uh, people feel. So here, um, here, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. I hope you. Uh, you learn as much as I did painting this, and I hope it's gonna be useful for your own workflow. I'll try to, well, to do other paintings like that in the following days or weeks. I can't promise I have time enough to record all of them. Uh, well, at least I try to. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you like that, if you have something uh, to t tell me that I should fix. Um, many things to fix, I guess. <laughs> so thank you guys again for watching and see you later.